why Gibson? What's the name Gibson? I, I, surely someone said, is it like calling yourself Honda? <laughs> or, or someone said like, hang on, that's been done? Or? Yeah, no, I think it, um, it started back in 1996. And it was, uh, I think it was a name on the shelf that they had. Uh, you know, well, didn't Gibson still have it? Well, Gibson guitars had it. Yeah, but, so you um, don't get someone ringing up saying, what's a good gauge for a Les Paul? <laughs> now and again we do, yeah. Are oh, you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but um, no, we're, we're now Gibson London, so uh, it makes a point of difference. But we've been going now for, you know, over 10 years, and uh, we've built it into, it was a suiting brand, it's now into jackets, it's more of a lifestyle, so shirts, ties, uh, bow ties, trousers, um, and it's going really strong. Was there a Mr. Gibson? I mean, uh, a guy I mean, called Norman Reeve, he started it um, back in the day. He used to work for a company called Corman's, and he, he started designing uh, Gibson suits, full bubble suits. Uh, then he developed into a jacket range, and I joined in 2001. Uh, and it's just gone from strength to strength. Was it humble beginnings? Because this, yeah, really. this, this certainly isn't humble. <laughs> no, not at all. No, I mean, it was a very small range when it started, and it's just grown and grown you know, over the seasons into what you see now. I mean, we're now into the tweed jackets and waistcoats. I mean, that's a massive look for us uh, for autumn into 13. Uh, I mean, it's just expanded and expanded. So, where was that influence coming from? I mean, it's a little bit, um, I don't know, it sounds. It's a bit toad of toad, all some of it, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's, it's a bit, I think there's a lot of it. If you look at what's happening in the, uh, you know, on telly, you've got Doctor Who. Uh, oh, it's going back to the. Yeah, English. it's just sort of going back to the, you know, the Victorian age. The monocle. Um, yeah, I think so. But, I mean, if you look at Gibson, we sort of go across the board from Carnaby Street, late 60s. To back into the Victorian time, so up to date. So it draws its influences. Who planned that? Who planned that out? Who, who suddenly said, "I've got to have this"? Well, Nor it Norman it? is the was the designer, and he he has a vision of where he thinks the brand should be and and what the collection should be. And they sit down. You know, this was probably planned six months ago. This collection, yeah. uh, and they they get their influences from all over the place. Uh, and then you know. We start selling the collection six months later, and then it goes into the stores six months after that. Was it hard to get back to get the consciousness of decent clubber yeah. into into a, a country that is basically overrun with chavness, <laughs> where, where people don't even know how to wear a pair of shoes well, unless, yeah. unless they're going to a funeral or a wedding. Yeah, I mean, I mean they look like chimps walking down here <laughs> because they've never had heels on. Well, we were. I don't mean heels. No, no. I mean ten years ago, uh, we were selling to the more traditional accounts who were selling suits, whereas now we're getting into the more fashion accounts who are going a bit smarter because mm. I think guys are dressing, you know, a bit smarter. You know, they're not yeah. wearing tracksuits and trainers anymore. They want to dress up every weekend, you know, like they used to. So I think that's where we're. we're you know, getting a broader appeal now. Is that because the country's in a shit state? I think so. I they think want when, to feel a bit better. Yeah, I think when we're in a recession, people like to get dressed up. And, you know, mm. if you're not doing well, you look like you're doing well. You know, yeah. if you put a suit on or a jacket and look smart, mm. you feel better. You know. Yeah. Definitely.